So Cyberpunk 2077 was trending again on Twitter. I looked over because I was curious as curious can be. I'm a nosy son of a bitch. So I go and look and I, I look over and it's usually the following fray. They announced that it's going to be pushed on a new modern platform. Okay, cool. So those who have a new gen console can enjoy the game. Okay, whatever. Or they're updating the performance and all this stuff with certain things and that and the other thing for those modern consoles. Okay, awesome. Cool. And so I'm like, all right, fair enough. And then I immediately look at the comments and then my eyeballs roll in the back of my skull. Now, I'm not one of those people who white knight a game if the game is crappy. At the same time, if I think the game is actually fun, I will tell you it's fun. I don't care. I'll just tell you bluntly. I'm not going to be like joining the lynch mob with that and be like, oh, yeah, well, shit. No, it's the game could have done with much more time. It could have been worked on much more. Yes. Tired argument thrown in the bin. So... With that said, I look at these comments, and the comments usually go as following, people are complaining, they're dragging their, they're just dragging their woes about it, they're just angry, why is it coming out on this platform? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll pause that comment right there, because it's like, the game isn't for you if you didn't like it, why are you still talking about it, why are you still promoting it, you're making a trend now, because you're angry at it. People are going to see your comments, and see the people who are actually saying, Hey, it happened to not be that bad. They're going to read those comments and go, wait a minute, it wasn't really that bad. What do you mean? And then they'll read more and more what people really enjoyed about it. And then those people are going to go over and grab a cheaper copy of it wherever in GOG or wherever, $5 copy of it at BJ's or some crap like that. And they'll buy a copy of it wherever, whether it's broken or not. They're going to play it and enjoy it. It's going to be that cult favorite. Kind of like Dead Island. You remember that? People hated the shit out of that on PC and eventually got fixed and it wasn't so bad besides the, the network connections being kind of crappy still. So people bought that. They played that. They were like, wait, Dead Island was not so bad. And then the Definitive Edition came out of that. People still liked it. Like, hey, this is pretty fun. And hell, Dead Island is pretty fun. Dying, Dying Light was a lot better. It was a better attempt from the company. Don't get me wrong. Don't, go ba don't mistake me for pissing in the, uh, the drink here. But... It was sort of like I looked at it and went, yeah, it was good. So guess what happens when you when you get negative about that particular game? Because that game will then attract more positivity than negativity, I've noticed. It's it's funny because it happens like that because it's true. It's people will see that game and go, eh, either will not like it and agree with those who are being negative about it or those who are playing on whatever platform be like, it was actually not so bad. I liked it. 